there and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Angie and I'm a chemist who loves makeup. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about the Fenty Beauty setting powders that just launched in multiple shades. I'm also gonna do a video on the concealers, so wait for that, but I really wanna talk about the setting powders first. In my reviews, I like to use my background as a chemist to research the ingredients in makeup and report my findings back to you. And then I kind of give my opinion on what I think about the powder. So if that seems like something you're interested in, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new video. So let us get into the review. So the first ingredient is talc. This is a very common filler powder. So for me personally, when I've used powders that are talc based, they've definitely been a little bit more translucent, which is what this powder is supposed to be, even though it does have the extra pigmentation added to it just to kind of give it a better match to the user. And then you may have heard a lot of controversial things about talc, but for the most part, the concern is over asbestos, which in talc that is used for cosmetics, this talc is tested for asbestos. If you're really concerned about talc, I would go with companies who have been around a while. They have a supply chain that kind of works to make sure that they get talc that is tested how it's supposed to and is free of asbestos. And I will leave some more information down below so you can look into that as well. And I also talked about it a little bit more in depth in a video, which I will have posted here where I discuss myths about makeup. So the next ingredient in this product is silica. So silica is great because it absorbs moisture and sweat, and it also prevents light reflection. In this powder, they discuss how there'll be no flashback. This is gonna help prevent that flashback. I love that it absorbs sweat and oil because that's the whole point of powder, is because you wanna be a little bit more matte. That's what a lot of us use setting powder for. As an oily person, anything that will absorb oil or sweat is great, so that way I don't look greasy throughout the day. Next is dimethicone, this is a silicone. It's put in there because it's gonna help spread, it helps spread evenly on the skin, and it's gonna leave your skin looking smooth and silky. And then the next ingredient is squalane. So, what I learned about squalane is, is that it's actually naturally produced in human sebum. So, what this is gonna do, is this is gonna help lubricate the skin. So this is also gonna help leave a soft, smooth appearance in the skin. The ingredients after that, there wasn't, nothing really stood out to me here, just standard preservatives, ethyl hexoglycerin, capital glycol. But one thing I did notice that was interesting was that fragrance was added. So if this powder has a smell to it, I would be really curious if you know what it smells like because I don't have this product in my possession or maybe that's just in there because it kind of offset the smell of something else. I'm not sure what else would have a odor in this, but that could also be why it's in there. And I think it's great that it comes in so many different shades because not everybody is as pale as me. I think this would be good for people with more oily to normal skin if you're dry. I feel like a lot of the ingredients in here may not be what you're looking for, but I feel like if you're just trying to set like a little bit, it would probably work. So let me know down in the comments below if you wanna pick this product up or if you were looking into the new Fenty concealers, any other new products you've been looking at, just let me know down in the comments below. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!